Attention bubbleheads, sailors, and all military personnel. Enjoy truish, lighthearted, and funny adventures from life at sea, told by Mr. do -Right himself. So pack your sea bags and rig the ship or dive. It's time for another sea story with Mr. do -Right. I think they're ready for you. Man, show sure is nice up here. Woo. Not a care in the world. Just chilling. Chilling. Hmm. Nothing to do. Nowhere to be. Oh, wait a minute. Shit. Man, these dudes gonna give me all sorts of shit, man. I mean, yeah, I gotta hurry up and get there. Damn. Damn. Welcome back to Sea Stories with Mr. Do Right. I am your host, Mr. Do Right, and today's show. You done lollygagging yet? Don't you know you got responsibilities? You don't know how to get here on time, boy? I wasn't late. I'm shit, I'm right on time. What are you talking Look, about? Early is on time. On time is late. And late is unauthorized. Boy, I don't know what to say about you. Anyway. Don't anyway me. Man, you talk about killing somebody flow, man. God damn, Chief. Shit. They never came up with you. <laughs> so if we don't have any more interruptions, since Chief has gone to the goat locker, maybe we can get on with this damn show. And today's show, all you need to know about nuclear power. I am going to crack the lid on this stuff and let everybody know what the big deal is and how it's all done and how it all works. That's what I'm going to do. All you terrorists out there that's watching my video, get your notepads ready. Because <laughs> I'm going to break it down. And yeah, it's better write fast because I ain't slowing down. You better listen quicker. Here we go. I want to do this for Mark Peebley III. He sent me a message. He's up there in Best, holding it down in Groton, Connecticut, getting all the future submariners ready to go. He says he shows my video to his students. So I'm like, well, that's cool. So since you showing my video to your students, then I guess I better get off my ass and do something productive and give them something they can learn something from. And I'm going to teach them about this nuclear power that pushes the boat through the water. Now, I will get to your video later on, my shipmate. Don't worry about it. I got you back. But for right now, I got to get you back right here. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so, nuclear power. Man, I know you're wondering, what is he going to say? What is he going to say? Because I ain't said shit yet. But God dog it, calm down and wait and stop talking to yourself. You're supposed to be listening, not talking to yourself. So the first thing I want to tell you about is nuclear react on the boat. Now, we gotta we gotta straighten some shit out. Now, don't go to the boat with all the shit you heard on TV and remove it. The raft is critical. The, the raft is going critical. Oh my God! You know what? Go talk to your neighborhood nuke, and they'll tell you the raft is supposed to go critical. Cause that's the only way it's gonna fucking work the way it's supposed to work. If it goes critical, that don't mean it's finna blow the fuck up. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to give you this video, because in Best, they don't tell you this shit. They don't tell you. They don't get you prepared. Best, what y'all doing? I'm here to get y'all prepared. And when I first got to the boat, first on the way, and them motherfuckers announced over the, over the one MC, the reactor's critical, I damn near shit my fucking pants. I was like, oh my God, this first day on the boat, and this shit's about to blow the fuck up. Ah! And then everybody looked at me in the vision. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Didn't you hear that announcement? The rack is critical. Oh my God. Motherfucker, this ain't no movie. This ain't no damn Crimson Tide. <laughs> the rack is supposed to be critical. God damn. <laughs> oh man. I damn near lost my freaking mind. But after that, and I saw we didn't blow up, that was really quick and easy. So look, if you're getting ready to go in, and you're getting ready to go to a boat, heed my words. Don't be dumb. The reactor's supposed to go critical. Okay? You got that? Moving on to the next thing. Now, 
they say that they got fuel rods and everything in the reactor, and that's how we get our power to run our boat. But let me tell you something. That's all lies. You know what? You go up to a nuke and say, hey, you know, how does nuclear power work? What's in the reactor? And they'll send you all this shit. Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And then all that fucking smart ass shit start coming out their mouth. Like they having diarrhea of the mouth. All that's lies. That's not true. I'm going to tell you what's in that reactor. The reactor, that whole fucking thing is made up of souls. You probably saying to yourself, what? For what? But follow my logic here. It was a many days I was on the boat. And if you're on the boat nowadays in this modern age, there are computer screens everywhere. Now, you remember being on watch, sitting in front of that screen. I used to sit CEP. Oh, my God. CEP. Oh, I feel it now. I feel it now. Sitting in front of that computer, watching them goddamn dots. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Guys in sonar, watching those screens, looking at the fucking waterfall of fucking greenness. Even the quartermaster back there, he got four or five screens around him. Everywhere you go, there's a screen. And you're always looking at this screen. And the more you look at that screen, the more you feel drained. And you just, oh my, oh, oh. Uh, you know what that is? That is your soul sucking out of your body into that screen. And so where do you think that soul goes? What is it all connected to? Well, it's not directly connected to the, the reactor, but they got special switches and knobs and shit. <laughs> I think that's what the ELTs used to do. <laughs> and that shit goes straight to that goddamn reactor. Then that reactor just be sitting up there. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's like, that's why they always got to have somebody on watch man them damn panels so the reactor can keep going. <laughs> Look, and you think I'm lying. If you're not in the military no more, if you're not on a submarine, just think about your computer and how much of your soul it really sucks out. Or when you're at work and you're sitting there looking at something and it's just like, and then you walk down the, the hallway or the aisle and shit and you look at other people and everybody just, you can tell me I'm wrong, but, uh, I bet you're thinking about it. <laughs> I bet your ass thinking about it. Something else I want to share with you. All you terrorists out there, this is what you need to write down. This is the point that you're looking for. How the shit works. It's simple. Submarine is a fucking steam engine. What? Did you not know that? It's a motherfucking steam engine. That's right. Well, I'm surprised y'all haven't detected us yet. And when we go through the water, we be going whoop whoop and shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't can't believe y'all didn't know that shit. Let me tell you something. It's a big ass steam engine. I remember my qual board. They asked me, how does our propulsion work? And I'm like, Psh, that's easy. And the the new chief was like, that's easy. Psh, I would like to hear what you have to say about that, cause I'm perplexed at the fact that you might know how our propulsion plant actually works. You know, I, I really beg to differ that you know what the hell you talking about there, Seaman Stewart. So I was like, okay, let me break it down to you, Chief. Let me tell you how it works, Chief. It's basically a stove, a kettle, and a pinwheel. He was like, what? 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 I'm like, yeah, Chief, let's look at it like this. We got the stove, which has a burner on it, right? And that burner gets hot. We put the kettle on it and fill it up with water. And that water gets hot. And then that hot water starts to turn into steam. And once that steam starts rising and goes through the kettle and comes out the spout, you know, because like a little teapot, it's short and stout, right? So it comes out that spout. That steam starts coming out whew, real hot and fast. And you take that pinwheel, you put it next to that goddamn steam, and that pinwheel starts spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. 
That's what we got. That's all it is. That's all it is. Fucking submarine's just a big ass pinwheel. Going through the ocean. Poking holes. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Poking holes. Man, I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what our propulsion system is. That nuclear plant is a fucking burner. And it makes shit hot. Which is funny, because you look at movies, and it's like, we got these nuclear batteries to put in this weapon. And I'm like, nuclear batteries? How the fuck is that supposed to work? I, you know, I ain't no nuke now. Now look, I ain't no nuke. And I love all y'all nukes out there, because, you know, if it wasn't for y'all, I couldn't get my job done. If y'all didn't push the boat, I couldn't direct the boat. And the other guys couldn't steer the boat. And the other guys couldn't shoot torpedoes up somebody's ass if, you know, we... I don't care what nobody say. There was no division better or worse on the boat. Everybody was even because everybody had to do their job. Because if the nukes just pushed the boat out there, where the fuck would we go? If I didn't navigate, we wouldn't have nowhere to go. But if the nukes didn't push it, then I wouldn't have nowhere to go but next to the pier. You know, we all had to depend on everybody else to do their job. Simple. I forgot my point. I guess it don't matter. We talking about nuclear power, so that's all we need to know. I would say this, but... That might be too much information. I'm not really trying to give no information to terror. So, you know, you may be taking those. I mean, I shouldn't say this because, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, any terrorist watching this, the best way to take over a submarine is go up to a submariner and slap them in the face and call them Susan. And I guarantee you they'll give you the ship. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You, you want tips on how to take over? Look. Uh, Go up to a Navy SEAL and call him a bitch. And, and he'll just take you wherever the hell you want to go. <laughs> oh, you want to take over a base? Walk up to a Marine and say, your mama's stupid. That's all you got to say. And they'll say, oh, you want to take over the base? Come with me. I guarantee you, they'll take care of you. If you want to take over a, a, a plane, go up to an Air Forceman and say, I'm taking over this plane. And then they'll give you the keys. <laughs> oh, if you want to fucking take over a tank so you can blow up some shit, go to a soldier and say, I'm army strong. And they'll take care of you. Don't worry about it. You know, in most of these situations, you're going to be taken care of real well. Remember that. Just, just. You know, you ain't got to sneak and hide. You ain't got to do no crazy shit. Just walk up to one of these members and tell them what I just told you. And I guarantee they will fucking take care of you ASAP. They might even say, I'm not a virgin, but I'll introduce you to, how many is it? 42? <laughs> they might even tell you, I'm not a virgin. But I'll introduce you to 42 of them. They will take care of you. The U.S. military is welcoming all terrorists. And if you need something, if you want something, just come up to us and ask. And we will take care of your ass. And I'm saying we like I'm still in. But goddamn, you can come and ask me. Leave me a comment, Mr. Terrorist. And trust me, I will take care of you. And I got some other brothers and sisters. That'll take care of you, too. Let me wrap this up, because I'm sweating my balls off. <laughs> I'm too fucking hyped today. Man, this has been a good fucking show. I enjoy this. I love it. There are divers over the side. Do not rotate the screw. Cycle the rudder. Take suction from or discharge to the sea. Blow, flood, or vent any tanks, or operate any underwater equipment, or activate sonar. There are divers over the side. Thanks, Chief. Uh, yep. He got me again. Well, let me hurry up and end this shit before he start up again. So, thanks for coming back to see stories with Mr. Do Right with your host and mine, Mr. Do Right. Until next time, peace. I thought this was gonna be easy. Shit. Mr. Do Right. In today's show, look, I wasn't late. Well, I be damned. Well, 
if we don't have any more, well, ah, shit, come on. He say he shows my video to his, his, what the fuck you call him? <laughs> he say he shows it, <laughs> a kettle? Oh, fuck, I forgot. <laughs> so I'm no nuke, but I forgot my point. <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about.